Good morning, congregation. It is Good Friday, and today we might wonder why we call it good, if it is the day that we remember the suffering and death of our Savior. And yet, we do call it good because of what God has done for us in this day. It is an expression of his love, his love that cannot be fathomed, that cannot be fully known. We think how Paul expresses that truth in Romans chapter 5. For while we were still weak, at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. For one will scarcely die for a righteous person, though perhaps for a good person one might dare even to die. But God shows his love for us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And here is what makes this Friday good, that we may remember the love of God expressed in Jesus Christ, his eternal Son, who came to earth to obey the law for us, who came to suffer the judgment that we deserved, that we might have life <clears throat> everlasting. And it is that love that we are to focus on today, even in the midst of all the disruption in our lives because of the coronavirus, yet we have this confidence, this hope that God is with us now, that he has prepared a place for us, that we will be able to enjoy him in all of his holiness and all of his perfection forever because we have been sanctified, we have been justified. We will be glorified in Christ Jesus. And as Paul thinks about that, he writes to the church in Ephesus and he has a prayer, a desire for God's people. And he writes in chapter 3, and beginning in verse 17, I'll start, that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth, to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. And this is our desire, that we may know by faith the love of God that is in Christ Jesus, that we may have that hope, that we may not despair, that we may know that there is a glory that awaits us and that there is a presence of God by his Spirit dwelling even within us now. And as we spend this day, let us take time to reflect on that love of God that we may be comforted and encouraged once again. Let me close us in prayer. O oh, Father, we come to you, and we cannot fathom that love. We pray that you would work in us, that we may come to know you more and more with greater and greater clarity, <clears throat> and that it may increase our love, and that we may know your blessing, that we may know your protection. I pray, Lord, that each who hears this may be drawn nearer to the Savior to think on how Jesus loved him, her, for, Lord, it is that love that sustained the Lord Jesus Christ that gave to him that determination to gain a people for himself of which we are a part. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, that's it for today. May the Lord bless you and protect you and cause his face to shine upon you.